Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends and today we are going to study the next second numerical based on basic operations on discrete time signal. The second numerical I have already plotted. So we are going to solve the different types of operations related to time scaling also, time shifting also, amplitude scaling also, amplitude shifting also. We will see one by one. So, we are going to study the different types of time scaling operations, amplitude scaling operations one by one, which is placed in numerical. Let's see how the numerical gets solved. Well, in problem number two, the x of n is already plotted. Here we have plotted the three samples. The first sample is at minus one, second sample is at zero, and third sample is at one, and having amplitude one, one, minus one, respectively. Now, we are going to plot these four questions. We have to find out the operations of x of n for these three, four different parts. In first case, what we have mentioned, it is x of minus 1. This is the first property of time reversal property that we have studied in the sections, previous sections. And now the second part is x of 2 plus n. Here we are going to solve two different properties, time shifting as well as time scaling also. This is the third part. Here also we are going to study the two different properties, the time scaling and amplitude scaling. And in fourth case also, the same thing, time scaling and amplitude scaling. How we are going to solve all the different properties one by one we are going to study. So let's see, we'll solve this numerical one by one. Now, the first part of this question is x of minus n. x of minus n means what? It's simply a mirror image. It's just simply multiplied minus sign with each and every instant of time so that you can achieve a mirror image but remember amplitude will not get affected so how we are going to solve this mirror image function let's see so x of n which is placed over here a minus 1 0 and 1 having amplitude 1 1 and minus 1 respectively now what we are going to do we have to perform mirror image so simply multiply minus n with each and every instant of time so if we multiplied minus n with minus 1 the new location of this sample is now 1. So we can say that this part directly shifted towards right hand side at instant 1. Now origin. What about origin? Origin will not get affected. So origin remains as its place. Now look at the next place is 1. Here if we multiply this time instant by minus sign. So new instance is now minus 1. Amplitude is not affected. So amplitude is minus 1. So only the thing is time sequence gets changed. But amplitude remains same. So minus 1 is available at 1. 1 is available at minus 1. And origin is at place. Now we will study the second part. Let's see. Now in the second part what is mentioned? X of 2 minus n. X of 2 minus n means what? Simply we have just performed some modifications in this function. That is we have placed. We have written minus n first and 2 afterwards. So to understand which type of time shifting operation is going to be performed as it is a plus sign is there or you can say that here also the 2 is positive so you can say that we have to perform time advance operation or we have to shift this graph towards the left hand side by how much value by value of 2 now according to precedence theorem or precedent value we have to always give first priority to time shifting property and then we can perform any type of uh, operations or any type of uh, properties afterwards. But remember, we will always give first priority time shifting property. Now, x of n is already plotted. Here, the amplitude is 1, 1, 1 at instant minus 1, 0 and now, as I told you, first of all, we have to perform time shifting property. In this time shifting property, the plus sign is even means what? We have to shift this graph on left hand side by how much value that is 2 so simply add 2 in all these instant so you can say that the other option is you can shift this graph by 2 towards the left hand side by 2 so if we want to shift this graph by left hand side by 2 so simply count 2 in left hand side that is this one is now shifted towards left hand side so next location will be is minus 1 1 this is the first shift this is the second shift means what this one is available at minus 1 now what about origin i'll draw the all the time instances one by one if you want to shift this one towards left hand side by 2 you can say that you can simply subtract 2 
from all the instances so to obtain the new location so if we subtract minus 2 in each and every from each and every location what you will get here you will get minus 1 here you will get minus 2 here you will get minus 3 so you can say that this one is shifted on minus 1 this 0 is shifted on minus 2 and this minus 1 is shifted on minus 3 so look at here minus 1 is shifted on minus 2 minus 3 0 is shifted on minus 2 and 1 is shifted on minus 1 amplitude is unchanged that is minus 1 is having amplitude my 1 now the new location is minus 3 so it carries the same amplitude that is 1 the 0 the new location is minus 2 amplitude at 0 is 1 so here also at 2 amplitude remains unchanged at 1 we have amplitude minus 1 after shifting at minus 1 the amplitude also unchanged that is minus 1 now the third part is mirror image mirror image means what we are going to multiply all the time instance by minus sign so minus 1 new location for minus 1 is 1 minus 2 is 2 and minus 3 is 3 minus 1 is having amplitude minus 1 so amplitude is still there minus 1 minus 2 is having amplitude 1 it is also unchanged it is 1 minus 3 is having amplitude 1 now it is placed in positive side having amplitude 1 this is how we are going to perform the two properties at the same time now in the third case Again, we have performed going to perform a time shifting property as well as amplitude shifting property. How this scaling can be done? Let's see one by one. Next part will is, is combination of time scaling and amplitude scaling. In the third case, if we multiply whole function time signal by two, means what we are going to perform amplitude scaling. Amplitude scaling means what? If we multiplying this factor, if we multiplying the alpha factor. And if alpha factor is greater than 1, means what your uh, graph will get amplified. If the alpha factor is less than 1, then graph we can say that attenuated. Now here the alpha factor is greater than 1. So you can say that your graph will be result and graph will be amplified. So and the next case is, as I told you earlier, we will always give first priority time shifting property. So here minus sign is given means what your graph will be shifted towards right hand side or we can say that delayed by 1. So originally graph is placed as i told you graph is shifted towards right hand side by one so minus one i'll stray as i told you if your graph is shifted towards right hand side means simply add the given figure the given figure is one so simply add it in each and every instant of time minus one plus one resultant is zero here resultant is one here resultant is two so one is shifted on two zero is shifted on one and minus 1 is shifted on origin side. So minus 1 is placed at origin. This origin value placed at instant 1. And this instant 1 is placed at 2. Amplitude is unchanged. So minus 1 is having amplitude 1. Now the new location is Z origin. So amplitude is 1. The origin value in X of N origin value is 0. The amplitude is 1. Now it is available at 1 having amplitude 1. Now this one is shifted at 2. At 1 having amplitude, we have amplitude minus 1. New location is 2. So it is also having minus amplitude minus 1. The second part of this question is amplitude scaling. The amplitude scaling means what? As I told you, if alpha factor is greater than 1, then we have going to perform the amplitude scaling property. That is, we are graph is amplified. If the alpha factor is less than 1, means graph will get attenuated. So amplification means what? Simply multiply all the amplitudes by 2. So how we are going to perform the multiplication? Just look at here. The amplitude is 1, 1 and minus 1. After multiplying alpha factor 2, the new amplitudes will be 2, 2 and minus 2. The time sequence will not be affected. Now the amplitude will get changed. So new amplitude is 2, 2 and minus 2, but our time sequence remains unchanged. This is how we are going to perform the amplitude scaling operation. The first part, that is last part of this question also based on the same thing, a time scaling and amplitude scaling. Now let's see, now you have got the idea how to perform that question. So we'll solve this last part. Now, the fourth part of this question is, here also the time scaling property is there. Time scaling. In time scaling, the plus sign is given means the graph is shifted towards the left hand side by how much value? 1 means what we are going to subtract 1 from each and every instant of time. Instants are minus 1, 0 and 1. What we are going to do? 
if your graph is shifted towards left hand side by one means what we are going to subtract one from each and every instant of time if we shift subtract minus one from each and every instant what you will get this location will be changed all the location will be changed the one will be shifted at origin the origin value shifted at minus one and minus one will be shifted at two so the new location is one is shifted at origin so amplitude minus one now it is available at origin the origin value shifted at minus one the amplitude is one so minus one is having amplitude one the minus one is having amplitude one but it is now no new location is minus two so at minus two we have amplitude one the second part of this question is amplitude scaling in amplitude scaling the alpha factor is half half means you can see that 0.5 and yes 0.5 is less than one means what your graph will get shrink so simply multiply this alpha value with each and every available amplitude 1 into alpha that is 1 into half is half 1 into half is half and minus 1 into half is half all the amplitudes are positive on the left hand side and the origin we have minus half because we are have the alpha value half now we are going to solve the third problem in the next video so thank you for watching this video stay tuned with ikeda and subscribe to ikeda for further videos thank you so much